Now we are going to have discussion on Kirchhoff's laws and the first Kirchhoff's law is Kirchhoff's current law in short known as KCL and the second Kirchhoff's law is Kirchhoff's voltage law in short known as KVL and these two laws were given by Gustav Kirchhoff a German physicist and in this lecture we will discuss KCL and in the next lecture we will talk about KVL. Now according to KCL, the algebraic sum of the currents entering any node is zero. Let's try to understand the meaning of this statement. Whenever you calculate the algebraic sum of the currents which are entering any node, then you will find the algebraic sum is equal to zero. So what do we mean by algebraic sum? Algebraic sum is the aggregation of two or more quantities taken with regard to their sign. So here we are calculating the algebraic sum of the currents. This means we will calculate the sum of currents with their signs. And when you calculate the sum of currents with signs, you will find it is equal to zero at any node. Now you have to follow one convention. According to the convention, the current which are entering or we can say the entering current will have the positive sign and the leaving currents will have the negative sign. So this is the convention we will follow in KCL and this convention is opposite in nodal analysis. But for now just remember this convention that the entering current will have the positive sign and the leaving current will have the negative sign. And I will take one example. In this example we are having this node and you can see that five currents are meeting at this node. Current I1 is the entering current current I2 is the leaving current, current I3 is the entering current, I4 is also the entering current and I5 is the leaving current. So two currents I2 and I5 are the leaving currents and the remaining three currents I1, I3 and I4 are the entering currents. And now we will calculate the algebraic sum of the currents. This means we will add all the currents I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5 along with their signs and we know entering current will have the positive sign and the leaving current will have the negative sign. Therefore I2 and I5 will have the negative sign and I1, I3, I4 will have the positive sign. So I2 will have the negative sign, I5 will have the negative sign and when you calculate it you will get 0. Or we can say current I1 plus current I3 plus current I4 is equal to I2 plus I5. So we can say that the sum of the sum of entering currents is equal to the sum of leaving currents. So remember this point that the sum of entering currents will be equal to the sum of leaving currents. This is one important point. Now let's understand why we are getting the algebraic sum equal to zero at a node. We know node we know node is not a circuit element and therefore it cannot store the charge and also destruction and generation of charge is not possible according to law of conservation of charge. So this particular statement is based on law of conservation of charge plus the fact that node is not a circuit element. Because of 
these two points node will not be able to store the charge it will not be able to generate the charge and also it will not be able to destroy the charge now the current entering means the charges are entering and the number of charges entering to this node must be equal to the number of charges leaving the node if the number of charges entering the number of charges entering is greater than the number of charges leaving this means the charge is getting stored at the node which is not possible therefore this thing is not valid and hence number of charges entering must be equal to the number of charges leaving implies the sum of entering currents should be equal to the sum of leaving currents and if the number of charges entering is less than the number of charges leaving this means more charges are leaving the node and this implies node is generating the charges which is not possible according to law of conservation of charge therefore this particular scenario is also not possible and hence there is only one possibility that the number of charges entering the node will be exactly equal to the number of charges leaving the node and the movement of charge is current therefore we say that the sum of entering currents is equal to the sum of leaving currents which implies the algebraic sum of currents must be equal to zero so i hope you now understand what is kcl and in the next lecture we will try to understand kvl